Let's go over the newest update in Anime War Simulator 2. Hey, Oblivions, this is Critter. Hopefully, you're having a great day. I'm having a great day. We're back today in lovely Anime Warrior Simulator. Um, I've been absolutely enjoying this thing. It is an amazing game. I love it. I love the mechanics. So, uh, we're going to get into the brand new update. There's two big new things that get introduced along with a new world that I really want to go over and cover uh, because they're kind of OP. And one of them is actually a little bit more free-to-play friendly than people think. So, if you haven't already, please make sure you smash... Smash, smash the like button, do the subscribe button. I greatly appreciate it. Let's be on a lot. Let's get running into it. So, along with a brand new world, which really enjoy the world. I honestly don't know what anime this is from. I wish I could say I'm I'm bad. I, I know most of the others. This one, I don't know. But uh the world's pretty simply laid out. Um actually the placement of some of the mobs to each other uh, is actually kind of nice especially for the eggs a lot of them are in reach of where the little hatching station is especially for this magic egg like you're able to send your units out to pretty much everything on both ends which is kind of the first for the zone because normally like you had to pick and choose what you fight but like i can send all my units over here to the infernos and i can run over here and hatch as long as i don't get too too far away uh you can still fight them which is nice i also really like the mount for this zone but let's go into the two new features that were added that kind of makes some stuff really broken. So if we go on over here and we go on over to dungeons. So if you go to the dungeon area, there is a few things to note. So if you go over here to the dungeon shop, there is now secret potions in here. So 500 may be a lot, but especially during the event that's going on right now. Uh, if you're running these pretty much constantly, kind of, you, you can get a lot. And I'm going to talk about a way that you can go ahead and farm up the brand new achievements that we've gotten, which include artifacts. And I do want to go over artifacts because they're kind of OP. So if you go on over here to the destroyer and you go on over here, you can see I have a bunch of different artifacts. So let's go on over to the index. So the beginner dungeon has a 30% chance to drop and there is a bunch of artifacts in here. And we also have the insane dungeon and there is six artifacts in here. We've got two commons, one rare one epic one legendary and one mythic tier now i will have to say you probably will collect the commons and the rares pretty quickly if you run through either dungeon and so it's actually kind of nice if you go over here to the auto that you are actually able to delete i am sensing at some point probably we're going to be getting some xp with these to increase these because i don't know why we have 50 storage for just two dungeons that's just me but I want to go ahead and go over the stats of some of these. So uh, for the lovely easy dungeon, I don't have the mythic tier yet. I have seen pictures of it though. Bronze jewel is pretty easy to get, 15% crit chance. Then we have the silver band, which give you that 5% damage. And then we have 15% damage for the cursed mirror, which that's in the easy dungeon. So that's actually, I would have to say pretty easy to get and something most players would be able to get. Uh, jeweled bracelet gives you a 20% damage increase, 10% warrior speed. And then Flame Orb gives you 25% damage, 15% warrior speed, and 5% crit chance. It's actually pretty good. I have not discovered this artifact, so I don't know the stats of it. Go down here to the Insane Dungeon. The first one is a 15% damage increase. Then we have a 10% warrior speed, 10% damage, which me. And then we have a 20% damage, 10% crit chance. The Flower Ring gives you 30% damage, 5% warrior speed. And then we have the ignited skull which is 30 percent damage and 15 percent warrior speed and five percent crit chance which that's yeah it's slightly better than the legendary from this so i've actually been farming both zones and how i've kind of been farming both of them because we do have achievements now that the more dungeon you complete the higher your artifact drops are so basically what i've been doing is i've been going into these um i'll clear the first four rooms and then i'll wait for the timers to run out I don't actually run the whole thing. Um, I've just been trying to farm this as much as I can, trying to get this up because you have to complete 100. And that's a lot. That's a lot. And you can only get in a day. Working towards this, you can get 48 done in a day if you're like 24 hours a day nonstop doing it. So what I would highly recommend doing and what I've been doing is uh, I just run in, sit, wait, because your timers for your boost do pause while you're in here. So I just kind of sit, I'll go and get something, look at comment section, go work on other things so that uh, I'm not having to like spend a lot of time in here. This is super OP and kind of super easy to kind of work through. 
The next thing I really want to talk about is in the new Magic Town. The new Magic Town, we have the Enhancer. So how this works is you basically put in three units. The first unit that you're going to want to work on is Potential. So if you don't know what Potential is, I'm actually going to claim these because I've had these in here for a while. So what this does, let's go ahead and go down here. This unit was a 1.5 when I put him in here, meaning he was a boosted unit. He was only the 1.5. He is now 1.7. Let's go ahead and rename you to uh, 1.7 because you are now a 1.7. The potential for your units is indicated by the stars on here. The higher the star rating, the better it is. Basically, it's the better the multiplier that it is. Basically, how this works is you go over here, you select two units of the same type. I don't want to rename you. We go here. And you go here. And we click our next one. Go here. Basically, it's going to take this unit that is a 1.3 boosted and it's going to turn it into a 1.5. Now, I will tell you that this timer does go up depending on what the new potential is going to be. This is super OP. And you must have legendary plus rarities to put in here. So this can be something you're going to put legendaries and mythics in. I don't see a whole lot of people right now putting secrets in here, just just to be honest, <laughs> because it, it takes so long sitting in here. I would honestly also try and keep as this full as possible. Now, honestly, the next one I'm going to have cycling through here is going to be these two guys. Actually, I need to get other ones so I don't lose my entire team balance, but I'm going to be putting in the wateries from the diamond map. And I'm going to be having them cycle through there. So I actually need to go farm up another uh, shiny one real quick to be able to throw in the machine. But I, I would try and keep this going as much as possible uh, because it's really going to help you out a lot. Now, what I'm going to do is because I just made my 1.7 boosted, I'm going to go. Let's go get some traits on this and let's level this up. So give me a few minutes. I'm going to get it leveled up and uh, I'll be right back. Well, first, actually, I'm going to make it shiny because honestly, that is the easier thing to do is uh, trying to make these bad boys shiny. Now, hold on just a second right here, guys, because um, I did something in just a moment that was really, really dumb. So my Grim Demon is going to go from that and that will be we'll actually be able to see the star potential. So let's go ahead and do that. Nice. And let's go roll for the stats for it, because uh, I have, I think, like 200 some odd for this guy. They did add a new game pass, which does allow for the rare, quote unquote, stuff to get used. I don't want to use my tokens. So hopefully we can get something decent. I think 300 should. So I'll let this run through and see what we can get. I hate this game sometimes. So I went over and was trying to get some stuff to prep the, um, machine, and I completely lost my unit. I am so unbelievably mad. I spent so many Robux on that thing. Oh, I am so mad right now. Y'all have, y'all have no idea. Oh, that made me mad. Ooh, so, word of advice, make sure you lock your units. Ooh. Guess I'm gonna have to redo that one. Ooh, I still cannot believe I just did that. Anyway, but that does allow me to show y'all kind of the difference as far as like time and stuff. Also, make sure you lock your units. <laughs> yes, that was that was dumb on a level that should not have been there, but that does give me a chance to uh, go ahead and. Start working on my main team. There we go. Shiny adult rock. All right. Or adult gone. Yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. So we take that. We're going to go back over here. I am going to lose part of my team. But because he's a 1.5 and I'm going to make him into a 1.7 boosted. This is going to take his uh, stats up by about 22 million. So I'm kind of okay with that. Make sure I don't accidentally eat these guys, because good lord, I would... Oh, 
there would there would be things there would be so many things so basically these first two slots is stuff you're going to entirely be eating and then this new potential is going to be 1.5 and this is going to take three days and 12 hours and i am i'm probably going to skip some time here in a minute but Plebs, hopefully y'all are enjoying the update. I am too. Um, I one need to put someone else on my team now for a little bit. And two, I am gonna have to uh I need to grind up this. I need to make this a shiny. So I'm getting to the point where uh secrets secrets and getting these guys going into the team. So uh, I may make an update video later in the week showing this. I'm definitely going to be going and grinding dungeons, so I'll have a video on that later out as well. And uh, I'll see y'all next time.